I am a skeptic. Classical guitar video recordings are misleading, in my opinion. If you think when listening to those videos, you are listening to the actual sound of the guitar, in my opinion, forget it, you are not. Just try to get that guitar you listen to in that uh, video with that amazing and wonderful sound and play it in, in, in your room. The experience is totally different. It has nothing to do with that recording you listened on internet. Because in the recordings, what you mostly hear is the chain of electronic devices that they are using for the recording and the quality of them. We are talking about the quality of the microphone or microphones, the quality of the mic preamp, the quality of the sound card that passes that recording to digital so that you can hear it on your computer or mobile, and many other things. If the quality of all this excellent, all of, of all of this is excellent, the guitar will sound wonderful. And if the quality is not very good, the sound of the guitar will be much worse. Uh, but then there is also the quality of the person who handle handles of, of this all all of these uh, devices the sound editing. These professional people can do amazing things with the sound. And then there is the issue of the hardware and software used when you already have the guitar recording. Nowadays you can change the sound almost as you want. If the guitar is not balanced in bass and treble, it doesn't matter. You balance, you balance this through equalizers and compressors which you can get in, in software that are not very expensive and you can even get that get them for free these uh, computer plugins are very easy to use it's funny that sometimes uh, classical guitar makers spend a lifetime to balance the guitar between bass and treble and in recordings in a few seconds with these software you can balance the sound perfectly but uh, Really, now, nowadays you can do everything with the sound. You can add harmonics to the sound to make the guitar sound richer, add saturation, you can add a reverb effect which makes the guitar sound like it, it has a nice and open sound. But even if you are not using any of those plugins uh, and effects, still the quality of the mics, the preamp mic, the sound car, as we were talking before, the, the, the guy m m managing all that, the room the recording was made, the placement of the mics, you still have plenty of devices between the actual sound of the guitar and what you hear and, and experience when playing the guitar by yourself. It's just that if you think about it, you can take a cheap 500 euros classical guitar and make it sound amazing on a recording. So where is the point in listening to one of those recordings to get to know what a guitar really sounds like? Not only uh, do, you, do you not hear the real sound, but is, it is, in my opinion, is often misleading for the person interested in buying a classical guitar. The colors of the classical guitar, the ability to create uh, dynamics of that guitar, to appreciate the bass and treble quality of the guitar, the correct overall tuning qualities through all register of the classical guitar, the ability of sound projection, that the guitar sound rich and far, none of, of, of this can be appreciated in a recording. And of course not the most important thing which is the sound quality and the sensations that you have with that guitar when you hold it in, in, your, in your own hands and play it. Then someone can tell me, but Alberto, uh, you can see in the recordings if that guitar is easy to play. I don't think so, because a good classical guitarist can play for a few minutes a guitar that is difficult to play in such a way that you don't even realize it, it, it is difficult to play. It's another thing to play that classical guitar for hours with difficult pieces, but 
a few minutes is, is perfectly possible. No? So another thing you don't know. There is uh, something that uh, I'm a bit more convinced about, and that is when they tell you that the recording at least, at least gives you an impression of the sound it has. Even if, if it's very small, but maybe it does, it does give you a, a slight impression of the sound that the guitar actually has. But to get that impression of the sound, you don't need to make a recording of such high quality. With a recording from a mobile phone, for example, or, or, or a not very expensive recording device that you have, you can get that impression of the sound that, that, you, that you expect and that you want. In fact, uh, for me, I, I give much more confidence to a recording with a mobile phone than one of those recording, recordings where the guitar sounds amazing and really good. Because the recording with a mobile phone will not have so much manipulation and will be more reliable with the real sound of the guitar, in my opinion. It's going to be a recording that the guitar is going to sound a bit bad because it's, it's a mobile phone recording. But to give you that impression of the sound is, is correct. Either play it yourself or listen to it uh, live at a concert that the guitarist uh, doesn't use amplification because that's another thing. People who use amplification, not guitarists who use amplification. Okay, it is fine if they like the result, but I also like to go to, to a classical guitar concert to, to, to appreciate and enjoy the sound of, of the guitar that the concert guitarist is using in the, in, in the concert. And if I go and see that it is amplified, I can forget about listening to the actual sound of, of that guitar. Imagine if it's yeah, Torres or Santos Hernandez. Or, it's really disappointed. What I hear is the, the microphone, the speakers and so on that this concert performer is using to amplify the guitar. So something is missing that for me is, I really enjoy. But anyway, I will enjoy the interpretation of the music, I suppose. Then uh, you need to listen to a guitar dealer. A guitar dealer you trust, talk about the guitar. Someone you really trust who recommends that guitar to you because he knows the style of guitar you like and who speaks uh, highly of, of, about the guitar and its, its qualities. Anyway, so this is, uh, this is my opinion on this subject and I hope uh, it helps you to know more about it.